In our past two videos, we've made the rails and the platforms that we need in order to make the Marvel videos. And in this video, we're gonna finish everything up so you're ready to do your own. If you haven't watched those past two videos, then go watch them. But apart from that, let's get going. We're just missing a few things. We're missing the ball rolling. We're missing to connect the objects with the wall, with some wall anchor or something. And just add some colors, lights, textures, and make the pattern all the way down. Add a sphere for the wall. Go front view, shade, smooth it, and move it up. Scale it a bit down. And then go to materials. New material, ball, choose any color that you like, like turquoise. There we go, Check, make sure it's centered more or less. Now, for the wall anchors, what we're gonna do is select any of the bars you already have duplicated. Just leave it there, go to modifiers, and remove the curve modifier. Go to front view, move it in the Y, and then scale it in the Y. One more wall closer, somewhere around there. You just don't want it to be boring. And what we're gonna do is go edit mode, select the outer edge, this, scale, not too much. Extrude those vertices and then extrude them again a little bit. Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to materials because we want it to look a little different, right? So once you select these faces, you're gonna create, add a new material here, new material. You can call it whatever, just transparent, I guess. So just go to transmission and put all the transmission when you select them and click assign. And then for the last phases, what you're going to do for the last phases is another new material. Go to emission, make it whatever color you want. So for example, green and set it to max or one. Assign it, of course. And when we go to render, right now we can't see much. Let me change it to cycles, GPU. And let's add a, a world. We can just add a sky texture. So color, sky texture. Select the background and just make the color a little darker. So you see how it's transparent now? And what I'm missing is the plane is not actually aligned properly. So we just have to move it back a little bit. There. And look at that. You see how it like glows? How this part is like glowing? That looks very nice when you look at it from far away. Because the second part is transparent, the glowing will go to the other part. So that's very nice. All we're gonna do is select that part. So you can go to edit mode again, select these guys. And what you're gonna do is first duplicate it, mode whatever, select both, control P, keep transform. This second one, you're gonna do something similar, but with this, with a rail. You're gonna go into these guys, control P, keep transform. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna move it. So it's placed. Nice. Does that reach? No, that doesn't reach. So what you can do is go to edit mode again. So like these vertices, extrude them, extrude them, extrude them. But as you can see, it's a little big, just a little bit. So what we can do is actually scale it down partially but not in the set. So we want to scale it down, not in the set. There we go. What is usually easier is just do it onto the rail, right? So first of all, apply everything that you have. Duplicate it, put it wherever you want. So let's say I want it in the middle here. So it's between my two combinations. And then I want it at the end. That looks pretty good. Just make sure they're well placed, more or less. And I'll just parent those guys. All of them to the main object. What we're missing now is to make them collide because if we play any animation right now, nothing happens. The easiest way to do this is select the ball, go to physics and add a rigid body that's active. And what you can do is make the weight really low and make the bounciness high for the collisions. You can then remove some friction if you want for it to be very bouncy. First of all, what we're gonna do is apply all of our modifiers because we have rail complete as we wanted. When you were to com to create more rails and more stuff, what you could do is create a base rail and from there copy your rails and to the specific rails then you would apply the modifiers. But right now it's just an example, so just apply the modifiers for the rail. And what you can even do now is select all of your objects that are part of the rail 
and just join them together. That way you create one whole thing and it's easier. Go back to the physics. And you see how this box is weird, so we have to apply the transformations, and there you go. See? Now the box is around our object, which is nice, it's what we want. So now instead of box, simply go, you can go mesh. You can check the same thing for the ball, but that's well enough. So you just choose sphere. And then for our guy here, just create a verge body again, passive. Check again where it is, but it's good. And you can even create a box because it's a square shape. And there we have it. So now if we click play, you see our ball falls, it goes, and it bounces. If we uh, up the bounciness in our platform, let me pause this. We also want to change this to about 100 frames. False goes. And it bounces, and it bounces really nicely. So now, if we go to front view, we can change them however we want. And that'll be for our next video, but you can just do whatever pattern we want. All we're missing right now is look at it through the render, click pause in the random frame, see how it looks. If you like how it looks, if you like the colors, if you like the shapes, you're ready to go. And watch my next video to see how I actually make a proper scene.